All right, it's been about two weeks here since our last Call of Duty Mobile subreddit review, so I figured today would be a perfect day for us to hop back on the page and see what's going on. I know we just had the brand new Renetti pistol add to the game, so I'm super curious to see Reddit's take on that weapon, if they're crying for a nerf or if they actually like think it's fun to use, whatever. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super excited to hop on Reddit here today. Had a super busy day. Uh, last night, even stayed up super late because we had resident evil village drop and as a lot of you guys know i have been covering that on my pc channel like crazy we like quadruple uploaded yesterday not just on the plays channel but the mobile channel so it's been it's been a busy week man one of the busiest so it's nice to be able to just sit back here and make some lazy content reacting to reddit stuff yeah anyway now that i'm a reddit pro what we need to do is go to top and then swap it to this week and this is where we get the best like best content best memes and the first thing i see anyone else miss the old nuketown map i personally really do man I, i'm so sick and tired of nuketown russia like it was so fun initially to have nuketown swap but just like take a look at this beauty right here <sighs> all pixelated up but still man it's the basics man the, the nostalgia effect of basic nuketown and honestly um it might be coming back pretty soon here i only say this because when i had played the most recent test server i didn't see nuketown russia but nuketown classic was available to play so maybe it's coming back in the next season fingers crossed because i really am tired of hearing footsteps around the map it happens sometimes a bot lobby looks like i can grind some camos <laughs> or maybe not this time yeah yeah and yeah, that's me especially i can relate to this because you guys know i've been doing the diamond grinds and uh well one we've been having a whole lot of stream snipers but two a lot of the stream snipers will try to beat me and if they get into this pocket spawn trap on shipment they'll drop a sentry gun and then pff, it's like a two minute free for all match if that happens i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen me abuse that strat is this a good idea devs add two random weapons every season devs are on a community poll so that the community can choose the weapons Ooh, that would be nice in an ideal world they would give us like a list of four possible weapons that we could pick two but i'm just gonna say it man if the acr is on that list you know i'm voting for it <laughs> this would be a funny charm little doge that'd be dope what if we had kill effects for completionist camos Ooh, okay i kind of like that idea because obviously the skin itself isn't super like cool there's epics legendaries and mythics that all like overshine damascus and diamond but the true reason that people really use those camos is just sort of the bragging rights that are behind it like if you have damascus you see someone using that camo you're like all right they grinded for this respect to them they got gold on all their weapons and if you see someone running with diamond you're like okay they're really good with that weapon they they've been using it for a while they perfected it so that'd be pretty dope to see in like the kill feed either damascus or diamond or whatever their variant is that'd be pretty sick i'd like that idea a lot i think that's good because it doesn't like kind of overshine legendaries and mythics because i know a lot of people say like oh make the skin cooler if they did that for their free skins then why would you purchase their paid skins but this i feel like kind of rewards your grind without necessarily making the skin itself better than the paid ones you know what i mean so i like this idea a lot headgears oh that is weird to see yeah in case you guys never noticed with your character customization screen you've got uh an option for a backpack and then sort of like an outfit and then a headgear but at the moment we still don't have any outfits or headgears so this is i guess sort of a concept maybe even a leak of what that would look like if you could swap different headgears on specific characters this one right here is my favorite ghost wearing just like a, a dad hat that's sick there's a glitch on standoff oh uh, it's gotta be the back alleyway like the the weapon changing either to just a solid black or white glitch right it's existed in the game for so long oh i was not expecting that okay i mean that glitch has been in the game for a long time but i don't think i've ever seen it go like full on chrome that is sick nuketown be like spawn point building bus middle area car on both sides fire truck other building other spawn point yes good meme bootleg power rangers oh my god there's so many versions of the default skin now <laughs> this is actually kind of crazy what do you do if you see this squad rolling up on you in a random search and destroy public match the correct answer is smack them because what are they doing five queuing in pubs i'd actually seen this post from doge earlier in the week and i saw a lot of people have been freaking out about the fact that akimbo choppers have been found in cod mobile in one form or the other but uh doge beanie had this to say akimbo chopper probably is a pack a punch upgrade from the base chopper on zombies mode it's a special model that allows the weapon to be on akimbo mode for this reason it's not possible to change the models on the akimbo weapon since they're a totally different model plus the flames coming off the weapon itself 
they were automatically loaded by the game. So from the looks of it, I know a lot of people were like, oh, Kimbo Choppers in COD Mobile. It's going to be so crazy. No, I, I'm thinking it's going to be a zombies weapon. I ag agree completely with Doge here on this. So no need to freak out until it's actually in the game and you see it. And then you're like, okay, now I can complain about it. But for the most part, I think it's going to be a zombies thing. And if it's going to be a zombies thing, like if that actually happens, I think that's going to be super sick. Also... Who is excited for zombies? I can't wait for it to come back. We still don't have like a hard release, but we know it's coming back finally. And that's such good news. Like, I don't care if we have to wait another six months, just like knowing that they're going to be upgrading the game, changing it around a little bit, and it's coming back makes me so happy. A lot of you guys know I've been doing a lot of zombies over on my Nova from YouTube Plays channel. So if you guys want to check out some of that, uh, link in the description. If you go to the channel, I think the like channel trailer is actually a custom Among Us COD Zombies map. So it's a really fun one. Like we had to do tasks and stuff to unlock Pack-A-Punch and win the game. So really cool map. Definitely worth checking out after this video. Oh, I seen this on like Twitter or something. Welcome to my shop soldiers or something you like to, to buy. This is incredible. I like this. You got an advanced UAV, sentry gun, cell chopper, another sentry, goliath, and then two of the like recon drones. Oh, and just for like insult to injury, uh, whatever this lobby is. <laughs> This person's calling it a nuke. I didn't even realize that. And they still got like another Sam turret and, and cluster. I feel like that is very difficult to call in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different care packages. I wonder what like the limit is that you can have on the map at the same time. I'll give you two Robux for the Stealth Chopper deal. That's a deal. Nice. DM me. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah. So a lot of you guys know that I've been doing these like mashup videos between Modern Warfare loadouts into COD Mobile. And uh, recently have been using the ASBAL on Modern Warfare, and it is ridiculously fun. That weapon is so strong. But to be fair, it's pretty decent on COD Mobile as well. This is like a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's definitely better on Modern Warfare than it is on COD Mobile. That video is coming out soon, though, so stay on the lookout for that, where we use our ASBAL loadout from Modern Warfare in COD Mobile. It's going to be fun. This is my concept of the legendary weapon of the QQ9. I hope Activision likes it and they can implement it to the game into the future. Oh, okay. So QQ9 Death Smoke looks sick. But you get the firing effect as well, which shows the QQ9 firing off red weapon tracers. That would be so nice. I cannot wait for weapon tracers to come to COD Mobile. I don't care if they bring it in on Mythics only. I want to see weapon tracers in the game. That'd be so sick. Uh, animation here, it looks like the QQ9 sort of puffs up in this like black smoke and then the skull eyes start glowing more like intensely red. And then for the kill effect, it looks like as you shoot your opponent, it, it probably leaves like red tracer marks through their body and then when they die oh my god it's almost like zombie eyes and they kind of poof away into that dark smoke oh it's got like a very faint skull as well it's like the the mouth the nose and then the eyes that's sick a lot of you guys know i love it whenever they have concepts here on the reddit hey yo the hold up i'm on this in the form <laughs> of the cake that's the cutest thing i've ever seen in my entire life what <laughs> what? Oh, this is so random. Oh my god, this is incredible. My Mace Metal Phantom drawing. I hope you guys like it. I was about to say, this has got to be TNT Heaven. It's like the star of my Reddit reviews. I'm so happy to always see their drawings. This is crazy. <laughs> they do these so fast. Go uh, freaking follow Flexile Century Instagram right here. That's TNT Heaven. Follow them on Reddit too. Incredible drawings. This is like the QQ9 in hand, it looks like with the the new mace character that's dope oh yeah i had seen that uh the locust dark matter has existed somewhere in the game imagine a knight's divided event with a green and purple team instead of a red versus blue and the rewards being the locust blueprints for each team like a dark matter one or a cosmos one that'd be sick again i completely understand why they don't do it because they need to make money since it is a free-to-play game and i know there's gonna be some people be like oh they've made enough money but you know you come on it's a business so obviously they're not going to make their so obviously they're not going to make their like animated skins that are epics that they would probably save for a crate free but it would be sick if they did it regardless if they actually did do it though that would be the most hyped event in cod mobile also 48 dredge when is that weapon coming <laughs> this thing has been leaked since like the beginning of cod mobile oh yeah congrats uh ferg for hitting 2 million subs uh, i think it was like the other day so that's dope Ooh, I mean, that looks clean, but let's see how that actually looks in game out of curiosity. I like how it shows more of the weapon and less of the scope. I think that looks really nice. Yeah, that'd be sick. Good job with the edit, too. That's pretty badass. Snipers in the beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've actually played the beta and used the snipers. And this is 
post sniper nerf so as you can see this dlq is uh moving around fairly slower than it would in the current build of cod mobile but just speaking from the experience of playing on the beta yes it looks scary at first but it's really not too bad it doesn't feel like it's too slow it definitely feels like it's slower to the point where i don't want to like full send every fight like into the enemy's base with a sniper and just try to quick scope them all but at the same time it still feels like snipers are very consistent and as a player who doesn't snipe 24 7 but does pretty often i would say it's a pretty fair nerf it's gonna make it so smg players and other players with full auto weapons are going to outgun snipers if the sniper tries to fling themselves into a position that they shouldn't be at i think in the current state of cod mobile the snipers uh, honestly since launch have always been too good but yeah point being sniper nerf it happened in the beta i think it's fair we'll see how the community reacts at launch yeah i don't get this if you check the event you'll know so apparently like the description for uh cod mobile one of the challenges they said like each multiplayer kill you get you'll receive five minutes <laughs> this is actually a really good meme like if, if you know you know it's funny oh here we go this is another look at the akimbo chopper i'm not familiar with this leaker but yeah there's their tag on screen so that was just like a quick little three second clip of them running with it. So as you can see though, the flames are on the chopper. I think it looks really sick. Do we have like a, a still before they start sprinting? Yeah. So I'm assuming this is going to be like skinned up. It's not going to be the default chopper. It's going to have some sort of like lava E vibe to it. Sort of similar to like the HD40 and ICR lava that we had seen launch when COD zombies were like first coming out in COD mobile. Again, I'm super excited for this. I, I know not many people enjoyed zombies when they're out, but I've always been a big fan of it. And I played it a good bit and I was actually even holding the zombies round record for a little bit. So I'm excited to get back and grind and hopefully they actually like support it a little bit more, especially now that COD Mobile has come as far as it has. And it's a much more successful game now. So this clip right here, we're only including in the video so I can use this as my thumbnail. We're gonna title this the update that we've all been waiting for as well. And this video is easily gonna get 100,000 simps. Yeah, I'm calling you simps views. And uh, just to make it so it's not actually clickbait, the update that we're referring to in the title is about the snipers. Boom! Get YouTube done! <laughs> According to Path, the NA45 is dead. Path said, uh, NA45 actually has sufficient recoil to make the second shot not hit where the initial shot went, thus not creating the explosion at all. Blast damage also has been reduced from 153 to 66 to 10358, depending on distance from blast center. Dang, actually, that's a ridiculously low amount. So if you hit like the best possible blast with the NA45, it's only going to do 103 damage. That means pretty much any shot that's not absolutely perfect isn't going to be a one-shot kill to survive a war. But what about a war zone? Um. Yeah, hold up. What is what is happening here? What do we what do we got going on, COD? <laughs> and a forty-five users be like scoping through the scope, closing the eye. Nice. Oh yes, TNT Heaven. Let's go. I'm currently working on Spectre Ninja. Here's my progress so far. So a lot of you guys know this has been like the main skin that I've been using recently. And TNT on the subreddit has had the most amazing, consistent fan arts of like all of the COD Mobile stuff. So this is dope. First of all, I upvote. Second of all, I say, let's go. Yo, TNT Heaven, if you're watching this video, I want you to make a YouTube channel and maybe like link it down in your next post. And what you need to do is like set up a camera over your station, wherever you draw or whatever, and time lapse it do like time lapse videos make them short like four or five minute videos and i promise the cod mobile community will love it you have amazing talent it would be really sick to like see you create in a video <sighs> my dear chickum needs some love oh pain pain i saw a lot of people comparing the renetti to the chickum and saying that the renetti is basically what the chickum should have been <laughs> this is good i wanted to see renetti stuff legendary maces voice lines are pure k oh my god what? I didn't know the legendary mace at all that himself. I thought I, I watched Hawks in his video and seen the new character. <laughs> I didn't realize it was all coming from Mace's mouth. That's ridiculous. I'm glad I didn't buy that now. That was the reason I stopped using Dark Nikto is because he wouldn't shut up. He kept talking. <laughs> Are you going to sleep? Yes, I'm going to sleep now. Shut up. Pharaoh M16 Chickum. A pistol is better than you. Good meme. Didn't make me ha ha, but made me shake my head like yes. My first and only diamond. Congratulations, Diamond Renetti, right? This is actually the only pistol I don't have diamond at the moment. So maybe next diamond day, we do the Renetti. When Renetti comes, but only fires in burst mode players who wanted the B23R. It is acceptable. Yeah, 
I was comparing it to the B23R because that was like in my head the the best burst pistol in the game. Renetti, it satisfies. I like it. I think the Renetti is actually super balanced. Like it's not too good that it's overpowered, but it's not like super bad that you don't want to use it. You know, it's the perfect secondary maps I want to see added. This is from Black Ops 4. I can't remember. I think frequency, right? Grind from Black Ops 2. Dude, I love this map. That would be actually perfect in COD Mobile because it just like fits the environment really well. And then finally slums from Black Ops 2. I have a feeling at some point we're actually going to see this map come in. I would not be surprised at all, but that another legendary map. The only one that I could live without would probably be Frequency. I don't really care about that map. I didn't play too much Black Ops 4 pubs, but Grind and Slums would be dope. The only bug I didn't mind, Flashguard bug made the MW11 viable, which should be brought back. Yeah, I love that thing. <laughs> Yo, what is this loadout? Dear H looks so good here. Oh my. This overall is just like a really good photo. So when are we getting the RPG? Got mobile? Eh? We have the SMRS, we have the FHJ, we've got new weapons in every category except for rocket launchers. RPG? Let me let me propose a deal. You bring in the RPG. I buy it in a lucky draw. I think on that note, every oh my god, I prefer the javelin. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Never mind, forget that deal. Bring in the javelin instead. That'd be sick. <laughs> With that being said, though, that is gonna go ahead and do it here for today's COD Mobile subreddit reaction review. Hope you guys all did enjoy. If you did, as always, I'd appreciate if you went ahead and gave the video a like rating. Super relaxing to just kind of scroll through here once every couple of weeks and see what's going on with the reddit community i know a lot of people used to say it was like a super toxic area but even if it was back in the day it's pretty clean nowadays and uh, i enjoy scrolling through it so it's nice to share you know what's happening on reddit with people in the youtube world so uh yeah thank you guys all so much for watching that'll do it here for myself and i'll catch you all in the next one